subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more updates hello friends welcome back to my channel so today in this video we will going to learn some basic concepts of proteins so let's begin with the introduction of proteins so proteins are large biomolecules consist of long chains of amino acid that means long chains of amino acid constitutes a protein and 20 different amino acids are aligned or sequenced in such a way to form a protein then it is also known as building block of life proteins are known as building blocks of life that means protein is a major constituent of our life Proteins are the most abundant intracellular macromolecule. In our body, proteins are abundantly and majorly found in the body. Proteins regulate and catalyze body chemistry in the form of hormones and enzymes. Now, proteins are of different varieties and different types can be catalyzed into some body reaction forming hormones, enzymes and various other compounds which help in regulation of the body. So now let's talk about the structure of protein. So structure of protein is divided into four categories and these are primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary. And we will going to discuss about each structure of protein in detail in my further video. So now let's discuss about the structure of protein. So the first structure is primary structure. In this the linear sequence of amino acid forming the backbone of protein. That means the linear structure of protein is formed by the help of 20 different amino acid aligned or sequenced in such a way that they form the linear structure of protein. For example, dystrophin and hexomidase is the protein which is having primary structure. Now let's talk about the secondary structure of protein. So secondary structure of protein is the special arrangement of protein which is formed by the twisting of the polypeptide chain. That means the secondary structure is formed by the twisting of the polypeptide chain. Here we can see the example of the secondary structure of protein is myoglobin which have the secondary structure of protein. So now let's talk about the tertiary structure of protein. So tertiary structure of protein is basically a 3D structure of the functional protein. And there are number of forces which holds the polypeptide bond between the carbon and the nitrogen atom. For example, hydrogen bond, disulfide bond, ionic interactions, Van der Waal forces. Here are some examples of tertiary structures of protein and these are globular protein and fibrous protein. And here we can represent a 3D structure of protein. So now let's talk about the last structure of protein that is the quaternary structure of protein. So basically when the proteins are composed of two or more polypeptide chains, they are referred to as subunits. The special arrangement is called quaternary structure. That means when the protein is composed of more than two or two polypeptide chains that is called as subunit and this type of special arrangement is called as quaternary structure of protein. For example, DNA polymerase, ion channels. So these are the protein structures which is composed of quaternary structure of protein. So let's now discuss the classification based on the biological functions of protein. So the first is enzymatic protein. So enzymatic proteins are highly specialized proteins and they help in the catalytic reactions in the body. For example, urease and catalase. The second is the structural protein. Structural protein helps in protecting the structures of the body. For example, collagen and elastin. Then there is a carrier protein. Carrier protein as the name suggests, it means that it transports the ions and molecules in the body. For example, myoglobulin. Fourth is the contractile protein. Contractile protein helps in the contraction system. Example, actin and myosin. The last is the defense protein which helps in defensing against the foreign organic molecules or particulate matter. For example, antibody and fibrinogen. So now let's talk about further classification based on the complex proteins. 
So first is the metalloprotein. Metalloprotein means the proteins which is linked to the metals. For example, collagen, casein. Second is the chromoprotein, which is the protein which is linked to the colored pigment. For example, flavoprotein and cytochromes. Glycoproteins are the proteins which are linked to the carbohydrate as the prosthetic group. For example, egg albumin, serum globulin. The fourth is the phosphoprotein. Phosphoproteins are the proteins which are linked to the phosphoric acid. For example, casein. And the last is the nucleoprotein. Nucleoproteins are the proteins which are linked to the nucleic acid and protein. For example, nuclein and nucleohistone. So at the last, let's talk about the function of proteins. So protein are seen in the muscles, hair and skin. For example, keratin is present in the nails and hair. Keratin is a type of protein which is easily available in our hairs and nails. Second is some proteins are hormones and they regulate the body functions. Some protein also behave as a hormone which helps in the regulation of the body functions. Third is protein also act as an enzyme that catalyzes the biochemical reaction. Some proteins are also act as an enzyme. For example, trypsin and pepsin are the enzyme which helps in the biological reaction. Then contractile protein helps in the contraction of muscles and cells of our body. Contractile as the name suggests contraction. Contraction of the muscles is also the major function of the proteins. For example, myosin. Myosin is a contractile protein which helps in the contraction system. If you want to study the details of biochemistry, carbohydrates and lipids, the link is there in the description box. Thank you.